Dennis is asking over on YouTube, have you guys had decent luck using the M365 apps admin center to keep office on a consistent build? Uh, we've not had much luck with that. Um, so I, I can take that one, Johan. Um, oh, yes, sir. Yeah. That's my screen. <laughs> Uh, sure, I can at least show. That I don't have a lot going on in my lab for this, but I'll show um, uh, what the reference, the context is here. Yes, sir. Um, so if you are in the M365 Admin Center um, and you go into Health, Software Updates, you can get to this section, which will lead you to the Microsoft 365 Apps Admin Center. Um, I like to point this method out because from what I've seen, this is really the only way that this admin center is really advertised. Although you may be familiar with the config.office.com website uh, that the admin center is running from because that's where you can do your customization, config.xmls and things like that. Anyways, once we are in the M365 apps admin center, we can uh, set up policies basically to ensure that our devices are staying up to date. Um, so this is changing a little bit right now. Um, you can see there's this cloud update section that's coming up, but that's still in preview. Um, where we want to go, uh, let's see, in our inventory here, this will show the number of devices um, in your organization that are actually checking into the M365 Apps Admin Center. Uh, for devices to show up here for the first time, uh, the device will have had to launch an Office app within, I believe, the last 30 days. And then devices also um, uh, go away after a certain amount of inactivity as well. Um, but essentially, the way that this is configured today all of the devices um, will be upgraded to the current channel, I believe, either the current or the monthly enterprise channel. And this is why, why I mentioned that, is this is what's changing here. This cloud update uh, feature that's coming is allowing you to determine which Microsoft 365 apps for enterprise channel your devices are using for updates. Uh, in the past, it's just been the one channel that could be used once you configured this policy. Um, but from my view, once this has uh, been, been brought up um, and configured, absolutely devices started updating well as long as they had um, good connectivity to the internet. Uh, that's that's one of the prereqs, of course, because that's where the uh, updates are coming from, the Office CDN. Um, but many of you, if you've joined here before, have heard I've said the same thing about moving to Windows Update for Business. So it could be that uh, some of the organizations I've been working with have just had a lot of luck moving to those uh, to those services. This says I've had enough luck with this that for me it's sort of become the uh, de facto recommendation on how to update and control and manage the inventory of M365 apps in the organization. Um, in terms of troubleshooting why that wouldn't happen, why there would be a challenge there, um, you know, we'd have to start diving into it a little bit more, I think. Um, but there's not much to it, really. Enroll the device into... Uh, into the M365 Apps Admin Center by allowing it to update, um, upload its inventory information. And from there, I haven't had to do much with it, to be quite, to be quite honest. Um, it's mostly just worked. Um, so if there are any specifics or anything uh, that, that might be able to help me guide you towards some troubleshooting, please share. Um, but it's, it's worked pretty well in my experience so far. Um, there are also a couple of other comments here uh, based on Dennis's issue that he was seeing with it earlier. Um, so Russell over on YouTube is sharing that they actually had a config manager related registry entry that was blocking updating from the cloud channel, uh, ran a couple of scripts to change the registry, um, and he did share that reg key um, in the latest uh comment up at the top if you want to pop that up on the screen, Johan. 
uh, I should be able to. That might beat me just uh, saying an entire registry key path. <laughs> Quick, write it down. I'm going to say it as quickly as possible. We'll make it a fun game. There we go. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> Took a while to find it. <laughs> no, all, all good. Thanks for sharing that. And thank you, Russell, for sharing in the chat as well. 